Hello and welcome back guys, this is Ibrahim Qureshi here and uh, today I am going to show you how to install uh, OVF um, The one I am going to use today is from VMware It is uh, a Linux version of uh, a server which is called Photon It's developed by VMware and um, I am going to use this as my DSCP server uh, just to give you some insight I just rebuilt my brand new lab with six uh, with 7.0 uh, and uh, I'm as you can see literally less than a minute uh, an hour ago I built it and uh, um, I'm just going to deploy the first very first uh, VM in here uh, because I had 6.7 running I have actually upgraded so there's a lot of VMs you can see here which are powered off anyway let's get started so for downloading the Photon OS what I did is I went to the git hub and then on there you have the latest version of Photon release available which is released recently um, it is uh, Photon OS 3.0 revision 2 update 1 binary. Uh, this is on 7th of February. So, um, this is the full ISO, this is a minimal, uh, and this is the full ISO on ARM, and this is on uh, x86. I'll tell you what, guys, I do not want to install it. I do not really want to, you know, go through the installation. Uh, someone has put uh, OVF here. Uh, OVA sorry OVA for VMware for uh, and I'm just going to use that uh, the one I'm actually going to use is with the hardware version 13 so that's what I'm going to download uh, actually I have got it here as you can see here VM photon hardware 13 it's only 165 it was quick in downloading I'm in the background I'm downloading the full downloading the full version which is this one so I can play around with it and see what else I can do with that so that's happening in the background so anyway let's get back to our lab so right click on host sorry right click on the host and then we'll say create or register a virtual machine and over here we'll say deploy virtual machine from an OVF or OVA click on next we'll give the name ph for photon dns server 01 we'll click on this which will allow me to browse the files Let's download it on downloads here so I can see the photon here, photon OS, and then click on open. And there you go, the file is here. Click on next. We'll be selecting storage, so I'll be uh, placing it on the data store, which is uh, local really, but uh, it's the data store which. Uh, is two terabytes so let me select that and use the equipment let's quickly go down and accept it i guess click next okay so there you go agree and then once you agree that there you go you got an error because you didn't do that before click on next now the good thing about the photon os is uh, vmware used to use suzy linux before with uh, back with version 6 uh, 5.5 and even version 6 was on suzy linux and after that they decided that they will build their own containerized uh, os for vcenter and vr ops and everything so this particular version of uh, photon os is a vmware build that's why it has a vmware logo here and uh, this is what it uh, uh, it will basically help a lot if you're learning Linux as well and if you're working on um, VMware install this play around with it um, instead of thick I'll use thin provisioning and we'll use the network which is here click on next and that's it we are pretty much done um, the product is Photon OS the name of the VM is PHDNS1 and this is the OVF this is the data store where we are installing it and it's thin provision that means we are not going to thick provision it also uh, it wouldn't have really mattered it's only 175 MB or 65 MB but yeah just a good habit is just thin provision all your VMs where until they grow um, just leave it thin provision when they grow they will be thick provision anyway so that's it finish and then it will 
deploy the OVF template. So that's it how you deploy the OVF template. We'll wait for this to uh, finish deploying and then we'll power it on for the first time and check it out. Let me use this time to remind you uh, please subscribe to my channel and uh, hit the notification bell and give me a thumbs up if you like these videos um, Click on like if you like it, but if you love it subscribe and nearly done here I need to find it first I'm going to end up deleting everything because I don't know I do not need most of these anyway might keep some for testing for you know um, but that's it, it's nearly done. Import V app, that's it, as you can see, that's done. Let's click on it, and it's powered on automatically. That is brilliant. So we'll click on this and see whether we can see the main screen. There you go, and that's it, guys. I'm sure I remember the root password for this root so by default the root password for photon OS is change me and now it's asking me to put a new password thank you very much for watching comment on below and let me know if you like today's topic don't forget to subscribe hit the like button and uh, Hit the notification bell to get all new updates from me. My blog is agileops.co.uk. Be sure to subscribe to my blog because all the videos which I am covering on my YouTube channel, I'll be posting blog posts around it so you can follow with step by step instructions with screenshots. I would love to hear from you so you can follow me on Twitter and send me a message on Twitter or you can send me a direct message at Ibrahim Qureshi as you can see here. Enjoy watching and keep sharing. Cheers. Bye.